Now, I want you to open our Father's Word to the passage I ask you to study, found in Mark chapter 4, beginning at verse 35. Let's get involved in the process of discovering what you saw. First question we need to ask is, what preceded this event? What followed this event? Well, if you go back into chapter 4, you will remember Jesus is teaching his disciples. And the repeated statement is, he that has ears to hear, let him hear. He's given them a lesson on listening, a series of parables. In fact, he explains one so that they will not miss the point. Then beginning at 4.35 and going through chapter 5, you have a series of four miracles. We call this the miracle segment of the Gospel by Mark. And the first of these is the miracle of the stilling of the storm. So whereas we have a number of miracles involving a number of people, the first one is the stilling of the storm which the disciples experience firsthand. So let's ask the question, who? Who are the people in this passage? There are two of them. Jesus, who is the teacher, and the disciples, who are the students. Jesus is the rabbi. He has just finished a whole day of teaching. Can you imagine listening to the world's greatest teacher for a day. And at the end of that sequence, Jesus says, let's go to the other side. But in route, he falls asleep. And it's at that time that a great storm arises. So I want you to see the interaction between Jesus and his disciples. For example, what did Jesus say? Well, I just quoted it. The first thing he said is, let's go to the other side. I want you to keep that in mind. Because when they get to the middle of the lake, the disciples are convinced they're drowning. And remember, the disciples were professional fishermen. They had seen this experience many times in their life. But as far as they were concerned, this was it. We are in the process of drowning. The second thing Jesus did was to rise and say, hush, be still. And the text says there is a great calm. So we're to understand this is something other than ordinary. If you've ever been on a sea or in a body of water, a storm comes up at the end, there is not a great calm. There is the surging of the water, sometime for hours, even days. This is a miracle. The calm is evidence that hush, be still, is the word of someone who even controls the elements. And then he comes to the disciples with two interesting questions. How is it that you, and you is emphatic in the text, how is it that you of all people have no faith? Who? the men who just heard the lectures. My friend, you don't develop faith by listening to lectures. You develop it in the laboratory of life, and that's exactly where they are. And then that penetrating question, why is it that you, of all people, are so fearful? Faith and fear are like oil and water. They do not mix. The two things you will remember that the disciples said, underline them in your Bible. Teacher, don't you care that we're in the process of perishing? The implication, at least you could help to bail out. And then at the end of it, who is this that even the wind and the waves obey him? It's obvious he's characterized by something other than madness. Where did this take place? Well, it take pla took place on the Sea of Galilee. It's approximately eight miles wide, 13 miles long. 
It's 690 feet below sea level. The prevailing winds come from the west, down those valleys and onto that sea. I have been there and seen this firsthand. I've seen the most tremendous storm I've ever seen in my life come up in 15 minutes. And that's exactly what they are experiencing because they are in this particular location. What's happening? Well, it's obviously a great miracle. A great storm becomes a great calm. It's one of four miracles. And while we don't have time on the series to go to the other three, don't miss them. Each one of them is designed to present a different aspect of faith.